with the major fixed structures leveled, today focused on clearing up and preparing for departure. An early look across the site revealed that there is much work to be done to clear the ground, but it also showed scrap on the way out and the caterpillar excavator prepared for departure. It is now the case excavator that is to perform all the work. Clearing up was underway at the water's edge and the remains of the heel trunnions were being cut back. Understandably, a lot of material has to be removed. Work to do so is being addressed very methodically and well. Attention is clearly being paid to every aspect of the site. Beside the resting giant, there's substantial scrap to go. There's clearly a plan, and as we'll see, it includes gathering rebar. The reason becomes abundantly clear with the arrival of a truck from Kimco. Another part of the plan comes into focus with the arrival in the afternoon of the 13 axle trailer for the big caterpillar excavator. Once on site, the first order of business is to unload the front section. Then the main bed can be rolled back down the road. With the tractor detached from the bed, the front section can then be prepared to be pulled clear. The big cat can then inch forward, ready to load. The cab is swung around and then it's a cautious steady creep onto the trailer. With such a massive machine, there's considerable reliance on guides. The clearer the signals, the better, like these ones. Throughout all of this busy loading action, the smaller case excavator was busy, but it's pretty clear that we're in the tear down and clear up phase. Stay tuned for future updates and thanks for watching.